today I'm going to take these shorts and you can't really tell actually right now, but they're a little bit yellow because I tried to bleach them and make them ombre. They were really, really dark blue and I tried to bleach all of them first. That way it'd be a lighter blue so the ombre wouldn't be as drastic and the bleach turns even more yellow as it's pulling out the blue dye so it stained these shorts yellow. So I bought them um, as jeans from Goodwill for like five bucks in the kids section and I'm going to dye them red. So that's what you're gonna see today. I'm taking this RIT Scarlet dye and it says to mix in the entire package with two cups of hot water. I boiled it in a kettle. It doesn't have to be boiling hot, but I just wanted to make sure it was extra hot. And I'm using just a chopstick to mix it all around because I don't want to stain any spoons or anything. And you want to mix it around until you're sure that there's no powder left, that it's completely dissolved. Make sure you use a glass, um, either glass or stainless steel like bowl to mix everything in because you don't want to stain any pots or pans. And these typically won't stain. Alright, the next step of directions tells me to fill any container with hot water, enough hot water for the fabric to move around freely. And then it told me to add three gallons of hot water for every pound of fabric. This, it's not even like a pound of fabric. So um, I'm not gonna follow exactly how much water should be in there. I'm just gonna kind of fill it up to the top. So I guess we'll see how that turns out. So like I said, I boiled water in a kettle. So I'm gonna pour that in. And since this isn't filled all the way to the very top, I'm just going to top it off with some hot water from this sink since most of this is already boiling hot. So I've put gloves on now because just by like pouring the dye into this water, I already seen my fingers red, so be super careful. Always wear the gloves. So I'm going to top this bowl off with hot water. Now it says to wet the shorts in hot water first. So this is just hot water from the sink. I'm going to wet them in there first. And while these are soaking up, I'm going to add the dye to the main bowl. So we moved everything outside, I laid out, cut up garbage bags and taped it to the ground. The shorts have finished soaking in the hot water and transferred from here into the dye bath and I'm supposed to leave them in here for about 10 to 30 minutes depending on what color I want them to be. And it says to constantly be stirring them and moving them so I'm just going to keep doing this for the whole duration until they get as dark as I would like them to. After we do this, it says once it, we reach the desired color, to rinse it in warm water and then gradually make the water cooler until the water runs clear and there's no more dye coming out of it. And then we'll throw it in the washer with a um, warm water wash and they should be done. This is what they look like so far. It's only been 10 minutes and I think because I put um, I know actually I put way more dye in here than I needed to with the amount of water that I put in So they're gonna be ready pretty soon. You guys might think it's a little weird. I'm using chopsticks You could use tongs just make sure they're um, stainless steel don't use aluminum because aluminum apparently can react with the dye and make something weird happen So as long as they're stainless steel, you're pretty set. The reason I'm using chopsticks is because they're cheap and I work at a sushi restaurant, so I have bunches of them lying around the house and they're cheap, you don't have to buy anything, you use them, throw them away, so just thought I'd let you guys know. Alright, so you have to start out with warm water. Caitlin and I have already made sure that the water is warm, not hot, and I'm going to start rinsing them. Don't use soap or anything, just water, and then as it starts to run out, gradually change your water from warm to cool water. These are the end result, red shorts, 
I had to repeat the process twice though because the first time they came out a red orange and I wanted them to be a definite red. Repeated the process a second time. Only difference is I added salt to the dye bath and instead of immediately rinsing them under a faucet, I let them sit in a baggie overnight. That way the dye could set in more. Also, salt does the same thing, helps the dye set in. So I'm very pleased with how the color turned out and I hope that this is helpful for you all trying to dye your own shorts.